Among my most recent finds at the scrapyard are these two mercury vapor ballasts along with two lamps. Both are in kind of rough shape. They've had some exposure to the elements over their service life, but as far as I know, both were recently working. The one on the left is the older of the two. It's a bit rustier. There is no label to speak of, so I'm not sure what the manufacturer was. And interestingly, it does have this little 10 microfarad, 280 volt AC run cap like thing attached. One on the right has no capacitor nor connections for one, and is slightly newer. It has a larger core, the windings are laid out differently, and it appears to be in slightly better shape. The lamps are both 100 watt, made by Sylvania, with the color correcting phosphor coating on them. They appear to be unbroken, though I'm not sure how old they are, they may not produce much light anymore. The ballast that does not use a capacitor is up for testing first, since it's in a bit better shape. I've made sure it's not gone to ground in any place, and I've put my clamp meter on to get an idea of how much current it pulls. I'll be using the Variac to turn it up slowly, just in case something funny happens. And hopefully we get this thing to light. Not sure if the camera picks that up, but the lamp appears to be flickering a bit and trying to start. Input is at a tad over 120 volts AC, pulling 1.3 amps as the meter shows, and the lamp has fired up. Now that I'm convinced that this thing will not catch on fire, I'm going to bring it up to 120 and wait for the bulb to warm up, see how bright it gets. This bulb might not be as old as I thought it was, because it is in very good shape. The light is bright and white in color, not the dull, sickly green that an older, worn-out bulb would show. Now time to see if lamp number two works. This lamp also appears to be in good shape. It's plenty bright and warms up quite quickly. Though I did not find any shorts or ground faults on the older fixture with the capacitor, it is in rougher shape and that cap looks kind of beat up, so I've placed that quite a ways away from me with an extension cord, and I'm going to turn it up safely from back here with the Variac. The lamp is on, things seem relatively normal, however, I'm still going to stay back here until I'm sure that cap is not going to explode. Since it's been going for about five minutes and no magic smoke has come out, I'm going to de-energize and grab my thermometer to see if anything got hot. Since no part of the older ballast was hot, or unusually hot, I'm going to connect them both up together and have a bit of a warm-up race and light output comparison. It's 
been a little over five and a half minutes. The ballast on the left and the lamp on the left seem to warm up slightly faster than the one on the right with the older capacitor ballast. However, both have stabilized, according to my eyes, at about the same brightness. And the lamps both appear to be in about the same age, about the same shape. 